Hey guys, it's Goldie here coming out with another video. It's been a while since I've done a video, but today, ladies and gentlemen, I have something to introduce to you guys. Something that I've been waiting for for so long to release on the desktop, and I'm so happy for this. So, this is Gray J. Gray J is a multi platform media application that lets you watch multiple different platforms. It's one centralized application to watch all of those platforms via plugins. And you may have heard about GrayJ before you clicked on this video because GrayJ has actually been an Android application for a very long time. So GrayJ for the longest time has been an Android only application, but they've now released a desktop application. But GrayJ, if you didn't know, is made by the Futo organization. And the Futo organization are such an amazing organization. If you didn't know, the Futo organization are the same organization that made the Futo keyboard, a 100% offline keyboard because yes, keyboards apparently have to connect to the internet nowadays. A 100% offline keyboard. They even made their own LLVM that's not trained off data but stolen from users. Cough, cough, Google. But yeah, this is such an amazing keyboard. I recommend you guys check it out if you're on Android. And this was actually an application that I was going to do a video on, but I didn't really come around to doing one. But yeah, I was going to do a video on Filter Keyboard. But I guess we are here doing a video on Gray J. So remember when I released this video over here, I'm done with YouTube. Well, in that video, I was basically explaining to you guys that I am done with YouTube as a viewer. I am done using this platform as a viewer to watch YouTube, YouTube videos. And I'm not going to explain exactly why, because this video explains exactly that. I really recommend you guys watch it. It's a very authentic and unedited video, as you can see by the title. But it explains loads of problems that I have with YouTube and loads of issues that it's been giving me, basically, in my, you know, my actual life. I really do recommend you guys watch that video, because that is basically sort of the reason why I am switching over to Grey J now when it comes to YouTube content. So after this video, I tried a number of different YouTube implementations. I have, for example, something called Pipeline, which is a, a version of YouTube, but for the desktop, it's made using, I believe, GTK4. So it's basically a GNOME application. As you can see, I had my recommend, I had my channels on here. I tried using this, but all these YouTube implementations did not reach my needs, except GrayJ. GrayJ has been the best application that has fit my needs. It's been so good, in fact, but on my desktop, because the GrayJ desktop didn't exist at this, at this time, I installed an Android environment just to use GrayJ. This is the Android version of GrayJ that I am running on my desktop right now. That's how down bad I was to use GrayJ on my desktop. But now, ladies and gentlemen, there's GrayJ natively on the desktop they've now released this application but i've been waiting for this long so here it is guys i'm gonna launch it from the terminal here and it's opened up on my second monitor but here is gray j it's now in alpha so big big disclaimer alpha application things can go wrong things can break but yeah gray j desktop it's amazing so obviously you might have tell but i i have been kind of messing around with it a little bit we're gonna go to my channel go to tgp i think there is a bug right now but when i search my channel it takes like it barely nothing shows up until i click on creators and then i search my channel and then here's my channel now so when i go in there we can see all the same videos from youtube essentially i'm just full screen this and we can watch them so i have like my middle 95 video which i have here i'm just gonna lower the volume here and the quality seems to be really good. Like I can click on quality and I can go to video settings, video sources, I can click on 4K. This video is recorded in 4K. We have different audio sources. We have subtitles. If I click on subtitle sources, English United Kingdom, this is stuff that I've actually written. These aren't generated, I wrote these. Um, and yeah, it, it, it works so well, like so much better than these other YouTube implementations. No, no hate to the developers of Pipeline, but I've had many issues with Pipeline. Um, the first issue was me installing it through the store and then it just, the application just didn't launch. So I had to install it through the terminal and then it didn't launch really, really weird. And then I obviously got one issue where, this is one of Roddy Robertson's videos. 
Uh, if I was full screen this real quick and I go to the video quality settings, there's only 720p, even though this video is actually 4K and I'll show you. So if I was to stream the same exact video on Gray J, so if I go here and I go into history and I stream a video, the same Brody Robinson video, go to the settings, this is a 4K video. On Pipeline, I can't stream in 4K. It just sticks to very, very like low quality um, settings. So I think that this has something to do with the implementation where they're using under the hood. Because I do know YT DLP would give you 4K. It would, I think YT DLP is probably a really good implementation. It gives you all the sources and all the audio. I know that because I worked on the movie Silla YouTube plugin. But yeah, it's just, I, I just, I'm so happy. Like, I can't wait. I really cannot wait. Like, I've been waiting for this app for so long, and it's here now. Even though it's an alpha and it's bugs, it's here. This is a way better experience than I've had using that app through Waydroid. Way better. Um, I believe you can also sync your settings with your phone and this as well. I did the sync thing here. Haven't tried it yet. Um, I tried the one on Waydroid, but it didn't work. So I think there's some bugs. But yeah. Pretty cool, right? So like I said, GrayJ is a multi-platform media platform. So you can install multiple different sources. So if I click on install feature sources, there's a range of different sources here that you can add. You can add Twitch, you can add Kick, we can add Bill 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 Billy Billy. I didn't really mention why I'm using GrayJ other than YouTube. Visibility, home screen. I can remove the recommendations in the home screen. I can basically, I can tell YouTube like what videos I've watched and stuff. There's, there's a range of different settings and they actually work because I use the mobile version and they work very well. There's even sponsor block here as well. It's disabled by default because GrayJ wants you to support the creators. As you can see now, if I um, obviously refresh, I now have no home screen. If you guys watched my video on why I'm leaving YouTube, and um, part of the reason was because of the recommendation system. I, I, I just completely want to disable it. I, I don't want the recommendation system, but I do want to have a history. So I don't want to like disable my history, so my recommendation system. I want to have a history, but I want my, my recommendation system to be disabled. And there's no way to do that currently with the official YouTube application. So I am using GrayJ now because with GrayJ, I can do that. With GrayJ, I can hand pick my own feed. So I can input subscription. I can, I can select what creators that I want to see. Let's say that I want Brody Robinson in my feed. I can select Brody Robinson. I can subscribe. And then that will add Brody Robinson to my subscription. So now I just see Brody Robinson's videos. Do I want another creator on my feed? Oh, I can add another creator. Let's do Brad on Penguins. We can add uh, penguins and you can go to subscriptions. And now she's showing up. So I can hand pick the videos that I want to see. So what this allows me to do is instead of YouTube being in control of what I should watch, I am in control of what I should watch. I'm now taking the control away from YouTube and giving it to myself. This, this is what I've been trying to say in my video. I no longer want to be controlled by algorithm. I no longer want Google. I no longer want YouTube. I no longer want Twitch. I no longer want whatever platform to control me through their own algorithm. I want to pick what I want to watch. I want to pick my feed. And GrayJ is the way to do it. Thanks for watching my video. I think that's all for today. Hope you enjoyed it. And... Use great shade. What am I going to do? I bet that if I could sleep, though, I'd probably dream about you. And that's why I don't want to sleep. I've no mind left to lose. These lyrics getting so hard to read. My artistry's my news. But I'm a winner, all independent, all for the cynical critics. If you rip it, leap, or fall, sick of all self ridicule. Gotta get it all together, even though we're not together anymore. I'm mature now, got the cure now. Burn down every bridge, get this, it turns out. This should burn hers down. Look before I figured ours won't work out. So I'm sitting in this herb cloud. So it turns around my mind spin